Hi everyone! Welcome to day four of my 12 days of Interactive December Dailies video series. Today I'm working on story number three in my album, and I'm creating an interactive photo pocket to document our first Christmas party of the year um, at a friend's house. I'm going to be working on the back of story number two in my album, um, which was using the plastic hearts to document a few of my favorite things about the holiday season. And I have a photo printed at 11 inches wide. Um, that's the width of the page outside of the page protector in my 10 by 8 album. And this is six and a quarter inches tall. And I'm going to use this large photo to create a large pocket so that I can hold some tags with some journaling and some more photos. To make this into a pocket, I'm going to cut out two hinges out of some white cardstock. One will go on the bottom of this photo and one will go on the left side of this photo to close up those two edges. And then the right side of this photo will be closed off by the binder rings and I'll put some score tape there as well. And to make these hinges, I'm cutting some strips of white cardstock into one inch wide. Um, the first piece that will go on the bottom of the photo will be 11 inches long. And then the second piece that will go on the left side of the photo will be six and a quarter inches long. Then I'm scoring these pieces in half at the half an inch mark, and I'm applying some 3 8 inch score tape along either side of the score marks on both hinges. So you'll see that when I fold this in half, that I'm able to attach these to um, the photo on one side and the base page on the other side, and that'll create a pocket for my page. On the bottom left corner of my photo, where these two hinges will meet, I want to reduce the amount of bulk in that corner, so I'm going to take both of my hinges and cut off a tiny corner on the hinge where they would otherwise overlap. And you can see once I lay these down that I no longer have that extra bulk in that corner. So now I'm just lining up everything and attaching my photo to my base page. And like I had mentioned before, I'm also going to be adding some score tape along that right edge of the photo where the hole punches are going to go. Um, just to give that a bit of extra stability. Next, I'm going to make some of these 3x8 cards into tags to hold my photos and some journaling. So I have here um, the tag that says December Stories on the top, as well as two of the tags that have the watercolor stripes on the bottom. I'm starting off by cutting off the part where the binder rings are, and I'm going to turn these striped ones upside down so that the striped pattern peeks out from behind my large photo, when I have the tags in the pocket. Since my pocket is only about six and a quarter inches tall, and I wanted to make sure that only the top parts of my tags are going to be seen when they're in the pocket, I'm going to trim off the bottom seven eighths of an inch from all three tags. Then I'm using my We Are Memory Keepers Angle Corner Chomper to punch the top two corners of each card into a tag shape. After that, I'm just punching a hole through the top um, center of these tags um, so that I can add some ribbon through the tops later on. Once that's done, I'm going to decorate this empty spot in my photo with one of the glitter die cut phrases from the December Daily main kit. Um, this one says calm and bright, and I'm attaching that with some eighth of an inch score tape. You'll notice that the 3x8 cards that have text on them are printed such that the text is centered with the holes punched in them. Um, so now that I've cut off that section with the holes, the December Stories text looks like it's way off um, to the left side of that card um, and quite off center. So to fix that, I'm going to add an embellishment to the right side of the text to balance it out. And I ended up going with one of the house chipboard stickers um, just because I thought that went really well with the theme of uh, visiting a friend's house for a Christmas party. And I was going to start adhering my photos down um, but then I noticed that the tops of the backs of my tags look really empty. So I'm going to fill up that empty space with some stamping first. I'm using the 6x8 star stamp set that came in um, this year's December Daily Collection. And I'm using the colors Mountain Pine, Frayed Leaf, Vineyard Berry, and Misty Mountain for my collection of Altenew mini dye ink cubes. Just alternating between the solid stars and the outline stars, um, and then sprinkling some of the red ones um, here 
to provide a nice accent of color here and there. And I did have to carefully remove that house sticker off the front of that December stories tag because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get a clear stamped impression. Now that I have my stamping done, I can start adhering my photos down um, and just using my Tombow Mono permanent adhesive tape printer for that. Off camera, I stapled some ribbon through the tops of each of those tags and added some journaling onto the December stories tag with some clear sticker paper. And when I went to put my tags into that pocket, I thought that top portion looked a bit bare. Um, so I'm going to cover that top portion with some patterned paper just to provide a bit of interest. This pattern came from the Paisley Press Digital Kit. And because the digital paper is only 6 by 8 inches um, and I need to cover an 11 inch wide area by 2 inches tall, I just imported that pattern twice into an 8.5 by 11 inch Microsoft Word document and then printed it out borderless to get the full 11 inch wide pattern. And I cut this down to two and a half inches tall so that I can stick part of that into the pocket to provide a more seamless look. Just placing the tags into the pocket, then the page into my album before adding a plastic heart for my number three. I decided to go with a red and white plastic heart to go with the reds and whites in my large photo. And that finishes up story number three. I've been busy setting up my new laptop and busy with some tech stuff, so I was happy that this interactive spread came together without much fuss. And I'm really loving the new 10 by 8 album size for the opportunities to include these large landscape photos in my interactive pages. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to get notifications for my 12 days of interactive December dailies video series. Thanks so much for watching.